When you have knowledge, you have power. But when your knowledge threatens the power, that's when things get sticky. Many scientific minds have suffered for their greatness over the years because their discoveries were just too advanced, too world-changing, or too intimidating for others to bear. From 9-11 to nukes, asteroids to AIDS, we've uncovered some doozies in our top seven cases of suspiciously slain scientists. <laughs> At seven, the death that changed the space race. This is Alexei Leonov, a Soviet cosmonaut who would have probably been the first man on the moon were it not for the death of this man, the brilliant engineer Sergei Korolev. Korolev was the Soviet Union's lead rocket engineer during the space race, and his work on Sputnik and Vostok helped Yuri Gagarin become the first human in orbit. Korolev died on January 14, 1966, and his loss enabled the U.S. to catch up and exceed the Soviet spacefaring capabilities. But was his death an accident, or something more sinister? Before he died, Leonov's identity was kept secret over fears the U.S. would assassinate him. And thanks to the Russians' penchant for secrecy, the true cause of death has never been established. Initially, cancer was blamed, then a botched hemorrhoid operation, but with America wanting to gain advantage in the space race, then it's more likely an undercover agent was sent in to take out Korolev. Because if Korolev had survived, those famous first words spoken on the moon would have sounded very different indeed. Although we'd still have the tinfoil hat crowd bitching how the Soviet flag shouldn't be waving like that in the lunar atmosphere. Number 6. The Death of a Nuclear Nation In 1966, Indian nuclear physicist Dr. Homi Baba claimed India was on the verge of producing a nuclear weapon. But this man, so important to achieving that goal, was killed in a suspicious plane crash not long after his speech. It is speculated that the CIA assassinated Baba to prevent India acquiring nuclear weaponry. India successfully tested a nuclear weapon eight years later with the fantastically named Smiling Buddha device, which India said they'd use to cause a peaceful nuclear explosion. A description that makes about as much sense as a pleasant case of diarrhea or a really lovely ISIS video. However, the CIA has again been implicated in several recent deaths linked to India's nuclear and atomic energy programs, with many prominent scientists killed or missing in suspicious circumstances since 2009. So, are America's intelligence services holding back the nuclear capabilities of other nations? And if so, what happens when they can prove it? Number 5. Cold Fusion's Cold-Blooded Killers Eugene Malov was a scientist, science writer, and a believer in cold fusion, a hypothetical form of nuclear reaction which could provide the world with cheap energy. Unsurprisingly, this isn't something which major energy oil companies would like to see developed, because when energy becomes cheaper, the gas and oil fat cats have to start downsizing their yachts and um, stop eating bathtubs full of caviar. When Malov's 1989 book, Fire from Ice, examined cold fusion experiments from a respected scientific perspective, the energy and oil companies undertook campaigns to dismiss his work and destroy his credibility. Malov was murdered in 2004, and while his killers were caught, two had their charges dismissed, and the main killer never saw court because of a plea deal. Was Malov on the brink of a breakthrough? Had he discovered some new evidence of cold fusion's viability? Thanks to his killers and their puppet masters, we may never know. Number 4. The Dozens of Dead Astronomers In the last 20 years, scores of world-famous astronomers have died around the world, with many being close colleagues in deep field and earth collision studies. Alan Sandage and Jeffrey Marston were astronomers and colleagues who died within days of each other. Both succumbing to a rare, non-transmittable disease affecting only 1 in 100,000 people. It was rumored that both were warned against revealing information about an imminent Earth-bound asteroid, and they weren't the only ones. Richard Crow and Walter Steiger from the University of Hawaii, and Harvard's Fred Whipple, Brian Marsden, and John Heukra were all astronomers who died close to each other in strange circumstances, as did Eugene Shoemaker, who somehow collided with another car in the middle of the Australian outback and with his lab burning to the ground the very next day. Add to this the recent deaths of David Burstein, Ron Parisi, Frank Kamendi, James Elliott, 
Yuji Hayakataki, Kevin Burley, Edwin Saltpeter, Michael Drake, Arthur Young, Donald Osterbrock, and Donald C. Backer, and you've got a heck of a lot of astronomers dying in a short space of time. What could possibly be out there in the solar system and beyond that these men and women should not have seen? At 3. Dr. David Kelly In 2003, Britain's government was struggling to find compelling reasons to join the Iraq War alongside America. They eventually released a dossier detailing how Iraq had weapons of mass destruction capable of launching within 45 minutes. But in an off-the-record remark to a BBC journalist, Dr. David Kelly, a biological warfare scientist employed by the Ministry of Defense, basically said the claims were a crock of crap. Kelly's comments undermined Britain's entry into the war, and for that, his own government thanked him by leaking his name. Kelly was then aggressively questioned by MI6 and the Ministry of Defense. Then he spoke of dark actors playing games in his haunting final email sent before he was found dead on July 17, 2003. Initially presumed suicide, evidence found in 2006 revealed this to be incorrect. And in 2010, UN Weapons Inspector Richard Spurzel claimed Kelly was on a hit list thanks to his constant opposition to the distorted facts used by Britain and America to justify the Second Gulf War. So when you consider the huge sums of money made by the military-industrial complex, the same people who own the oil and energy sectors of the world, seems likely that an honorable man standing up for what's right lost his life for a war that should never have happened. Number 2. The Mystery of the Microbiologists In the months after 9-11, conspiracy theories were thrown around like confetti at a wedding. But one that fell under the radar is the mysterious case of the microbiologists who died or went missing in strange circumstances at a time when the USA also experienced a rash of frightening anthrax attacks. On November 12, 2001, a biologist investigating HIV called Dr. Benito Key was found murdered outside his laboratory. Four days later, infectious disease specialist Dr. Don C. Wiley disappeared mysteriously. Next, Vladimir Pesechnik, a Russian biologist living in Britain who had ties to Russia's biological weapons facilities. DNA sequencing researcher Dr. Schwartz of Virginia and Set Van Wen of Australia were the fourth and fifth microbiologists to die all within one calendar month, and that wasn't even the end of it. Between 9-11 and March 2, 2002, 14 world-renowned microbiologists died, and many were experts in anthrax. Clearly, someone wanted a lot of disease specialists dead. So if any of you were microbiologists in training, you may want to switch to a safer career choice like porn acting in Haiti. And at number one, the crash that killed a cure. July 17, 2014. Malaysian Airlines flight MH17 is shot down over Ukraine, killing 298 people on board. This in itself is tragic enough, but the incident becomes more horrific and extremely suspicious when you also discover that more than a hundred of them were researchers heading to an international AIDS conference. The group of AIDS pioneers killed included Joap Langa, a former president of the International AIDS Society who pioneered the development of affordable drugs for people in third world countries. Suspects for the downing of Flight MH17 have ranged from the Russian government and Ukrainian rebels through to ISIS and Mossad, with no clear culprit as yet identified. So those were the top seven cases of suspiciously slain scientists. If that's got you in the mood for some more hot conspiracy action, why not check out this video of the seven biggest space conspiracies you've never heard about?